Well, then over in St. Tammany, of course, we've been talking about it. The big item on the ballot, the proposal to allow the Camellia Bay Casino on part of the Lakeshore Marina in Slidell. And St. Tammany then, you know, not surprisingly, expected to have a huge voter turnout tomorrow for the Camellia Bay Casino vote. It's become a hot button issue across the parish with well-known people on both sides working to sway voters. McFerris went up there today to see where people stand. On a hot and humid day on the North Shore, there's no shortage of people out and about and no shortage of opinions and even early voters on the proposed Camellia Bay Casino and Hotel for Slidell. There's the money. I voted no because I think it's all about the money and uh, the people that are coming in to put this together are not from here. I am for it. And the thing is, is that I know almost all of my friends are against it, but I feel like why should Mississippi get all the money? She didn't want friends to know she disagrees. There's also the crime aspect. Sheriffs and police chiefs have all come out against it. That's one reason St. Timothy United Methodist lead pastor is telling his congregation to vote no. We believe that our friends and neighbors in Slidell don't want this in their community. We wouldn't want it in our community, so we want to support our friends and neighbors in Slidell. It has to be a community sort of uh, embracing along with law enforcement as, as far as how it's going to work. If one of those are off, then I think it could be a, it could be a fracture in the whole community that could, that, could be, that could cause some serious damage. And then there's the issue of jobs on people's minds. This woman worked for a casino in Maryland and called its opening a blessing. It brought more jobs. Um, it did bring money to the community from tourism and everything like that. All the funds did go where they say they were supposed to go. But this voter is worried about the friend she worked with at the Blind Tiger in Slidell. All of those people that are working there are going to lose their jobs for a few months because they're going to be shut down for like re remodeling and renovations and everything. Many we spoke with were familiar with the issues pro and con. Oh my gosh, there's a um, ton of flyers every day and even the little newspapers that makes it look like it's something official and it's just so much money they're being spent and direct mailers coming into people's homes isn't the only thing that money's being spent on you've been seeing the commercials all over television in fact the people for the casino have already spent more than three million dollars on ads and an opposition group has reportedly spent a million dollars. Tomorrow, we will learn if it paid off. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News. Well, the campaign for and against the casino has become one of the most expensive local campaigns in Louisiana history. Millions of dollars have been spent to sway voters before the election. As one example, a political action committee called the North, North Shore Winds has spent more than two and a half million dollars to convince voters to approve the casino. And we've seen a lot spent against it as well, as Mac just mentioned. Again, polls close at 8 tomorrow night. You'll see the first results scrolling on the bottom of the screen shortly after that. You can also check our website and smartphone app for any updates. Complete election coverage with analysis and live reports from the candidates starts at 10 right here on Channel 4.